In this video with the On King, I'm going to go over how to create your rank list and finalize that. Now, if you need help with any of this process, go to this link here or you can support us on social media. We will share as much information on there as we can as we're going through this and as this time comes around next year. Um, now, one thing I wanted to bring up here is the love letter thing because a lot of people ask about this, you know, should you send letters? They're going to send you letters. Um, and if I just Googled this real quick and there are tons of research project or, or papers on it on PubMed. Um, and, and the truth is these actually do affect rankings. What I would recommend is don't let a love letter from a program affect your ranking. You should rank everything according to your true preference, um, but you can send letters to them and it does potentially have a chance to affect how things end up. Um, so before I actually go into the rank list and show you that, uh, I'm going to show you this here. And this right here is uh, how I would start it. So you're going to start by some sort of introduction. You know, I, I've interviewed all these great places now. Um, and you're going to send this, by the way, to the program director if you can. If you, if you can't get the program director's email, do the program coordinator. But hopefully at this point, you've contacted enough residents that you can just ask a resident for their email. So you're going to send them and be like, look, I've interviewed at a lot of places. And I want to tell you why I really like your program. You talk about some educational specifics. What things did you like about it? The continuity clinics, the, uh, you know, the way that for me, I applied dermatology. So the way they teach derm path or, or whatever it may be, whatever you truly liked about the program, but show them that you're interested in very specific things and you were paying attention to detail. Then talk about the social and the cultural aspects of the program, the location, why you want to move there, those kinds of things. Basically, like why the whole picture fits. And then you're going to close that paragraph out. And there are two different ways that you close that out. And uh, it depends on what you're ranking them. So if you're ranking them number one, you're going to tell them I'm ranking you number one. And this has potential to move you up on that list. Um, program directors in the past have uh, in surveys and research have shown that, that this might bump you up. So you want to say, you know, based on everything I've learned about your program, I am putting you number one and you want to use that terminology. You want to specify it just like that. Now, for every other program, you, you're going to be a little more ambiguous about it, but still very positive. And they know, they know if you're not saying number one, that they're not number one, but that still means, you know, the fact that you're reaching out and things like that, that you enjoyed the program. Um, there, there is some evidence out there that I guess in, at certain programs in certain specialties, not sending a letter like this may actually move you down. Um, or people that did send a letter would get moved above you because they showed more interest. Um, so you're just going to say something like, you know, this is one of the best programs I interviewed at, or I'm really looking forward to matching with you in March, or um, it, it, just, just a couple examples here. You can phrase it however you want, but this is kind of how I would send those. So now that I've discussed this part briefly, I'm going to go and actually show you how the rank works and then uh, go over a little bit of like what the actual list looks like when you get onto the website. So here we go. Okay, so here's what the website looks like um, for the NRMP. And this is, I've just pulled up a couple right here, these top three tabs. This is the matching algorithm and how it works. I strongly, strongly recommend you go and watch this video. Uh, it's very important. But the lesson that you learn from it is don't rank based off of where you think you will match. Don't, you know, if you get an interview at Harvard and that's a reach school and you, that's your number one, you really want to go there. Don't put it down farther on your list just because you don't think you're going to match there. Put it in the order of how you want it. That's not going to penalize you at all. This video explains it really well, like better than I ever could. So go and watch that. If you're doing a, a uh, something like dermatology or I guess ophthalmology has a different match, but similar anesthesia, uh, rad radonc, anything like that where you have to do a prelim year, this video here is really good. Talks about the supplemental list. I'll actually show you that because I applied dermatology. So my list has supplemental lists. Or if your couple's matching, this explains it as well. Um, and, and so all of these videos are fantastic. I would go and watch them. I've watched all of them. Just they're short, uh, like five minutes and they're great. I would definitely, um, watch those before you make any mistakes. Um, but here, here's what my rank list looks like. So I log into my website. I've got my rank order list. And, um, just in case you're wondering, I have intentionally mixed all of these up on purpose so that you can't, <laughs> you don't know what my, uh, rank list was. But, uh, so here's, here's all the programs I interviewed that. Now it gets kind of confusing, especially if you're like me applying to an advanced program, but there's also categoricals. I'll give you an example. So here's Ohio State 
dermatology program. And here's another Ohio State dermatology program, but it doesn't let me do the supplemental. So that's a categorical. That program has two spots that are categorical, meaning they do their internal medicine year like linked together at Ohio State. And two of them, you you have a supplemental list where you're adding like other programs. But basically what you're gonna do is get the NRMP code for all the programs you're ranking and you'll put them in here and add the list. And then you can drag and drop things. And when you're done, you click certify list up here at the top. And as soon as you have certified, then you're submitted. But if you go back and wanna change things, which you can, once you certify, you can still change, you will uncertify. Um, and so even your pass list won't. So don't make a mistake because your pass list won't even count. You have to recertify before the deadline. Otherwise, you, you're in a really big trouble where you know you have a list, but you don't, you're not put into the match. So you don't want that. Um, another thing you notice is I put some preliminary years down here at the bottom, meaning if I don't match to any dermatology, I would match to the prelim years down here as a backup. Um, if you don't put those in there, then you would just go unmatched. And this would mean like, for example, I would just match at the University of Washington for a year and that's it. And I would have to reapply or figure out what else I'm gonna do. Um, and I put 20 programs. The reason being after 20, you have to pay $30 per program. Um, so it can be kind of expensive. Now there's these supplemental lists and I'll go into the supplemental list here, do that. And this is what the supplemental looks like. Looks like. So you can create as many as you want. Well, actually 16 I think is the limit of what you can make. And then you add those programs in here and you can again, drag them and drop them and each prelim list, each supplemental list is going to look different and only come into play. I'll go back to here. So if I matched to Geisinger Dermatology, then it would look at this list and it wouldn't even look at the rest of the lists. Um, it would just look here and see where I'm gonna match. Again, go watch those videos because they're really helpful. Another thing I found that was really helpful in making the rank list was here's the NRMP codes. If you pull up, uh, this is Eris, and if I go to programs here and then programs that I applied to and scroll down, uh, you can see here's all these programs. Now if I click on it and scroll down, you're gonna have that NRMP code. Um, and if I, I'll find the Ohio State one just so that I can um, show you that example. So here's Ohio State Dermatology. If I click on it, you can see there's two numbers, one for the advanced and one for the categorical. Um, and, and when you come back here, so that's the advanced, that's the categorical. Um, anyway, hopefully that's helpful to at least see it, know what it's like, um, but that that's the rank list for you. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.